there's been a quite a few roles I've had that I was offered or intended to play a different character than I ended up playing. One of them was uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. I had already done Days Confused the summer before in Austin, Texas. Now I went back to school, graduated my senior year, and had my U-Haul packed up, and just as I was about to drive out to Hollywood and you know get a, try and get a job, I got offered this role uh, in this horror picture, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was a one-day role. A guy who rides up on a motorcycle at the beginning of the movie sees Renee Zellweger's character on school campus. She sees him. He rides off. She goes through her night of hell after the prom and almost gets killed. And the next day at, at school, or the ne- he rides back up. She sees him, jumps on the motorcycle. They ride off. No lines. Just this sort of Romeo to Juliet character who rides a motorcycle. Sure, I'll do that. I go to the production office in Texas Chainsaw Mask. I'm talking to the director, Kim Hinkle. And he says, Matthew, do you, do you have anybody in mind who could play the lead killer, Vilmer? A guy with the, who drives the tow truck and hangs the kids up from the winch and has a mechanical leg. And I gave him a couple of names of a couple of actors, local actors I knew in Austin, who would be right for the role. I got my two pages of sides for my Romeo character on a motorcycle and went to leave. And as I got to the end of the curb to get in my truck, which already had my U-Haul packed up to come to California behind it, attached, I said, I should drive for that role. So I went back down the sidewalk, went in, and they said, you forget something? I said, no, I didn't forget anything, but I want to try out for the role of Vilmer. And they were like, uh, great idea. Uh, there's no actresses here. And the girl that was the secretary goes, I'll do it. And I went, okay. And right then, I ran to the kitchen that was in this house where the office was, grabbed a big tablespoon <laughs> out of the drawer, came back in, and just pinned her in a corner and acted like it was a weapon and did it until she like, she like cried. It was gone. And they were like, cut. And, then she, and, and, and Kim was like, that was good. And then the girl was like, yeah, that was really good. You really scared me. And then Kim goes, do you want the part? And I was like, yeah, I'll take the part. Well, I had to unpack the U-Haul and go sleep on a friend's couch for the next 30 days because then I got the, the lead killer, Vilmer, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then I drove that to Hollywood.